Hey Anastasia, it's Greg again. Uh, it's a windy Saturday morning here, so uh, I'm not sure how the volume will come on this, but I'm gonna give it a shot uh, anyway. Um, over here at Czar Court, so we're at Thomas and Granite Reef. That's the light behind you. Uh, number one, two, next door, three, four, five, and six is the one on the corner here. Uh, six is the one that just listed. Um, so you can kind of get an idea of the pictures for that. So all kind of together here, pretty small yards. Um, I wanted to kind of give you a, a little bit of a look of it from an exterior point of view and kind of the traffic around it. I'm gonna run because I got a car coming. Um, I'll show you a little bit of the surrounding area here. Um, houses directly across, uh, nothing fantastic, but nothing too bad. I think the ones behind tend to be a little bit worse, but I'm gonna peek into a couple of yards here, just kind of show you just from a yard situation what you're up against. The houses are awesome, so uh, from that point of view, you're in good shape. Actually, lot number two, I think we can go inside and peek into. Lot number one that was just purchased, uh, so they just moved in. So from a house style, just kind of what you guys are looking for in the modern, I think these houses are probably the best fit. It's just gonna be a situation from a, a lot perspective. So I'll give you a little bit of heads up. Uh, nice high ceilings in here. You got the tile or wood tile look. Uh, nice color scheme. Nice open kitchen. Again, the concepts are cool as far as the floor plans. I really like these floor plans and the elevations. This is just what you're up against in the backyard. So come out here, got a little small area. You're basically coming out to the traffic. Thomas is a pretty busy road back here. You got the stoplight. Um, just kind of little, little sections and areas of your yard. Um, so it's not, not huge. Um, for low maintenance, it's great. Go back here, come check it out. Side that goes to the front there. So this kind of gives you the best perspective from this angle here, kind of what the yard looks like. Again, this is lot number two. They haven't listed this yet, I think. Uh, it looks like it's probably going to be done next week. It'll get it staged and ready to go. So I'm going to lock that up. Uh, we'll pop through here. There's kind of your little kitchen nook area that kind of looks to the back. But this is going to the master back here. Um, cool little setup on that view. Nice little shower, walk-in shower, um, walk-in closet there. Nice little setup on that. Yeah, from a house perspective, these are cool. Kitchen, you got a granite there, the quartz on this side, nice stainless appliances. Usually do a Bosch package and then these Electrolux fridges here, which are always pretty cool. Uh, you got a little wine fridge right here. Laundry room, sink, washer dryer hookup, with cabinets, Oop, pantry over here. This goes to the garage. Good garage setup. Uh, and then you got your other bedrooms on this side here, uh, Jack and Jill. Uh, this is the teen room on this one. Fourth bedroom that has its own bathroom. So floor plan wise, uh, Green Street does an awesome job. You know, look at this here. Again, that beam work up top. Uh, I think you guys love these houses. It's just gonna be uh, a location situation and a lot situation. I'm gonna pop you over to number uh, four as well. This 
house was probably the first one we sold. And then lot number uh, five was as well. I'm not sure if they moved in yet. few little miscellaneous items it looks like they're working on here but this should go live soon as well nice little pitched roof here um, I think they're working on changing changing the island out um, is what I heard I'm not sure the full details of that so I'm gonna try to get that um, same appliance package pantry going back into your master over here A little bit different color scheme, but still nice. Nice big closet. Oh, you got a wine fridge in your master. Everybody can use that. We'll take a look at the backyard here too. So you got a little bit more open space back here. Um, the challenges with these new builds is you see this huge retention basin. This has to stay here um, prior to moving in, you know, and if you want to add a pool, you've got to figure out where to move that retention basin somewhere on the lot. So it's possible. It's just, uh, it's not as easy as what most people would like. Um, oh, this was kind of a neat little thing. They put up this little barrier um, back here to protect from uh, from the houses in back. That's interesting. That's really not a bad idea. Uh, patio, pergola set up here. Lot size over here. So um, I think I think that gives you guys a pretty good idea of what you need to know right now. Um, definitely still still think that it's a good idea to maybe come take a look and see. I think neighborhood wise is, is probably pretty similar as far as you're in an area that has some uh, new coming stuff and there's some definitely a lot of older stuff around it as well. Um, these are probably uh, priced you know at the high point of the neighborhood um, so that is maybe a question that people have in here but it is a nice product there's nothing else like it so um, hope that helps and uh, I'll talk to you guys again soon.